MPK Mini Play has a lot of really cool internal sounds, and these drums and key sounds can be used for way more than just sitting with the keyboard in standalone mode. So I want to quickly show you how to record using these internal sounds so you can use them when producing your next song or making your next beat. Now the first thing you need is a cable that looks something like this. This is a 3.5 millimeter TRS to left and right quarter inch cable. I'll link one that I recommend in the description below for you. Plug the 3.5 millimeter N into the headphone out of your MPK Mini Play and plug each of the quarter inch cables into a separate input on your audio interface. Now, if you have an audio interface with only one input, you're gonna need a cable that looks like this. You'll also be recording in mono as opposed to stereo. Not a big deal, but I do recommend recording in stereo if that's an option. Now, once you're in your DAW, you're gonna wanna set up a new audio track to record with, and you can either set this up as one stereo track by selecting the appropriate inputs. This is the simplest and most straightforward way to record. The other option you have is to set up two separate mono tracks, obviously assigning each of the inputs to a separate mono track. And I sometimes like to record like this if I'm recording keys or synth parts, for example, because if you pan one of the mono tracks hard left and the other hard right, you get this really nice wide sounding recording. Definitely try it out, see which one you like better. But now let me show you how you can get the most out of these internal sounds with a song that I recorded using only MPK Mini Play. Check out this video right here and I'll see you over there.